Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tokyo. This is the Japanese B League and the battle between Alvar Tokyo and Chiba Jets. Well, you got to love the whole atmosphere around the B League games and especially here in Tokyo where the fans uh, pile into this wonderful venue uh, to watch uh, top basketball action, uh, the Yogi National Stadium. And shall we say it is uh, bustling with activity tonight, pre-game, during the game, everybody in their seats and ready to watch what promises to be a very, very exciting game. So. You look at so many good teams in this competition. Utsunami of Brex, of course, and Ryuku Golden Kings amongst uh, amongst them. Of course, Chiba Jets and Alvark Tokyo, uh, two teams that have designs on going all the way. But uh, they will be the first ones to tell you in this B1 league that uh, you better take it one game at a time. And you hope, you pray that you'll get into contention and win those games when it matters. Chiba Jets, well, Yuki Togashi, uh, Vic Law, Hikaru Futagami, Fumio Nishimura, Sota Okura, Takuma Sato, Gavin Edwards, uh, Faraz Rashid, Gaku Arayo, uh, Shutahara, uh, John Mooney, and Chris Smith. That is who is going to be representing uh, the Jets today. So you, Tagashi number two, along with Vic Law, Takuma Sato there, number fourteen. Shutahara and John Mooney in the starting five today for Chiba Jets, who are coached by John Patrick. And if you're a fan of uh, basketball, you'll know that uh, John Patrick has done a great job coaching basketball in Europe, most recently in Germany with MHP Riesen Lewisburg. But here he is now back in Japan for another stint where he had coached before. And their adversaries today, Alvark Tokyo. So Chiba Jets come here with a 2-0 record, and they're going to be going up against this Alvark Tokyo team, Yoshiaki Fujinaga, uh, Justin Cobbs, number one, Ryan Rossiter, of course, number 22, Hirotaka Yoshi, you might remember him from uh, this past summer playing for Japan's national team. Outstanding performance under Tom Hovess. Shuto Ando, Zach Baranski, Seba Seitz, who won the Eurobasket with Spain. There he is. Everybody knows how good he is in Japan. Of course, he's to play for Chiba Jets. Gen Haraiwa, Daiki Tanaka, Reiju Sasakura. We'll see Alex Kirk come out and Taiki Osakabi. So it's a very good, very talented Alvark Tokyo team. One that has uh, started its campaign uh, with a one and one record. Splitting their two games with Shinshu. And Chiba, again, starting 2-0. So there's Kirk. And also Justin Cobbs in the starting lineup. Ryan Rossiter. And Taiki Osakabi. There's Daiki Tanaka.
And Danis Adamidas, the Lithuanian, another coach from Europe. Of course, uh, Patrick is American. And that man right there, Adamidas, comes from the land of basketball, Lithuania, where basketball is a religion. And he has had the great honor of coaching his national team, coached them uh, as recently as the 2019 FIBA Basketball World Cup, which was in China. And uh, did a great job. Also coached in the Basketball Champions League, much like John Patrick. So the starting fives for today, there in front of you. You've got Ryan Rossiter, Tanaka, uh, Justin Cobbs, Alex Kirk, and uh, the youngster, uh, Taiki Osakabi on the left, number 75. Really exciting player. Then you got Tagashi, you got Ando, you got uh, Vic Law, number four, you got John Mooney, number 33, and of course, Takuma Sato. All of these guys, well-known names in Japanese basketball, getting ready to trade blows here in the Yogi National Stadium in Tokyo. Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Tokyo. This is the Japanese B-League, and it's Chiba Jets winning the opening tip and attacking the basket to the right, going up against Alvark Tokyo, and Alvark Tokyo come right out and steal the basketball. So Justin Cobbs brings it up. He's got it back and looks for his options. There's Kirk. Well, Sakabi has it knocked out of his hands by Tagashi. There's Osakabi. Not much time on the shot clock. They've got to launch it. And it's Tanaka who does just that. It's a long two. So the first two points on the board for Alvar Tokyo. There's Tagashi. Must see attraction for this Chiba Jets team, as is Mooney. Truly fantastic player. And Tagashi launches it from three-point range. I thought he had a really, really uh, Good, decent FIBA Asia Cup this past summer in Jakarta, Fort Japan. Tagashi, such a competitor. A lot of good things happening in Japanese basketball. Of course, they'll be one of the group face hosts for the FIBA Basketball World Cup, uh, which will be staged next year. Also have games in Jakarta, Indonesia, and also in the Philippines. So is Sato... Goes the other way. It's going to be Chiba Jets basketball. And Japan hosted the FIBA Basketball World Cup back in 2006. And for my money, that was the greatest FIBA Basketball World Cup ever. It was unbelievable. And now all these great Japanese fans getting some, some wonderful B-League action. Here's Vic Law getting into the paint. Puts it up. And puts it in. Big Law came into this averaging 20 points per game and good drive and the basket is good by Tanaka. Off to a fast start tonight, his second basket. Big Law missing, John Mooney with the rebound. Mooney hands it back off to Tagashi. Give it up for Yuki. Five quick points for Yuki Tagashi. Now Cobbs. Oh, passes up the short mid-ranger, gets it over to Osakabe, just beside the elbow and gets the shooter's bounce. We'll see if this Chiba Jets team can get John Mooney in on the action here, Tagashi he gets to the baseline, brings it back out. Tagashi steps into it and 
Vic Law not able to chase it down. So it goes back over to Alvark Tokyo. It's really interesting watching John Patrick coach this Chiba Jets team. Of course, his staple, what he really liked to do in, uh, in Germany, especially with MHP Ries in Lewisburg, was really coach a team that just drilled you on defense, played really hard, created a lot of scoring opportunities. Here is the defense, however, giving up a foul, fouling Alex Kirk as he gets down into the paint. And Kirk uh, creates a lot of problems. You can see driving in, he can shoot it, and he's not shy to put it on the deck. Perhaps uh, not what you always want to see him doing. Ryan Rosser, kind of a quiet start for him. John Mooney almost falling into the lane there, was able to hold off. Uh, but this guy is uh, one of those other emotional, fiery players that once he gets it going, it's very difficult to slow him down. So you don't want him to start going off. John Patrick barking at the referee about something. I don't know if it's uh, movement, some movement that shouldn't be allowed during the free throws. Even so, Chiba Jets now attacking. Here's Law, gonna lay down the Law. Nope, he doesn't. Great defense, hands extended by Ryan Rossiter. Cobbs, back outside, there's a Kabi, now Tanaka. And Daiki doesn't. Tanaka down that one. Mouse is out. Chance for Chiba Jess to go back in front. Ooh, almost a travel. Adamidas wanted it. Here's Mooney at the stripe. So the basketball goes back over to Alvark Tokyo. Chris Smith is going to make his first Appearance in the game for Chiba Jets. Good, strong, physical player, as well as Gavin Edwards. And he's got the tough assignment guarding Ryan Rossiter. Here's Tanaka. Tanaka again, started by Smith. Cobbs, he needs to put it up, he does, and he makes the three-pointer. So, not ideal for Chiba Jets to see that shot clock go all the way down to the end, you're playing good defense, uh, but the great talent of this man, Cobbs, allows his team to get three points on that trip down the floor. Timeout has been called. Well, here's a look back at some of the action. Good drive, little sh pull up short jumper from Vic Law going up against uh, Ryan Rossiter. So Law takes his seat. Alvar one of three from three-point range. Both teams, in fact, one of three from three-point range. Oh, 
Osakabe having to guard Tagashi. There's Mooney. Turn around and short. Down low to Kirk. And he's fouled from behind and makes the shot. Great strength from Alex Kirk. I love, I love these uniforms from Alvar Tokyo. They've got all of these models of uh, Toyota on the jersey, and he's got the Land Cruiser. I'm sure, he'd like to be driving around the Land Cruiser. He's cruising around the court right now, and he's got thir he's got his team up to a 13 to seven lead now, 14 to seven. And again, it is a good start uh, for Kirk, who has five points. love those red shoes they go perfectly with the red of course they put the last name of the players beneath the number and the model of the car that they're promoting above the number on that jersey here's the drive and again should have had a stop there Alvar Tokyo had the hands up, uh, but weren't able to grab the basketball. That was Okura that, that drove in. Number 13 now in the game. He's going to inbound the basketball. Chris Smith, high arcing shot from the corner. Oh, Chiba Jets on the back foot here, trying to get a stop. Go down and start cutting into this deficit. Right now, it's all Alvar Tokyo. Osakabe. Okura guarding him. And Gavin Edwards out. And they're really pushing. Oh, and Gavin Edwards went up and gave a, a little bit of a body check to Cobbs, who crashes down to the court. Cobbs probably sold that pretty well. But that is very that that is a staple of you see Seba's sides come into the game as well for Alvar Tokyo. That is a staple of the John Patrick teams. His team his players will get out there and guard you. You better be ready for a big physical battle with them. Here's Cobbs. Puts it up, and Patrick won't be too happy about that. Far too much space. Lead goes to 16 to 7. Kura, boy, tough drive going up against Ryan Rossiter from the right or from the left with the right hand. There's Sice, and Sice just powers his way down, puts it up off the glass and in. He was the MVP of uh, Chiba Jets' uh, recent title campaign two seasons ago. And here is... A foul that's been called on Alvar Tokyo. So that foul called on Shuto Ando, who's uh, having to wear the face guard today. A little bit of a hold. Looked like uh, Chris Smith was kind of sandwiched between both defenders, both Rossiter and Ando. Now Vic Law back into the game. Toka Okura hands it off to Vic Law. And um, missing. Excuse me, Okura missing. Now Rosser sides advantage but passes it back outside. Shot clock winding down. Will it be another three for Cobbs? 
Oh, look at him go. Couldn't quite get it to drop. And a great hustle from Seba Sides. There's Cobbs again. And gets the contact, no call. And the ball goes back over to Chiba Jets. And this time Osakabe reaches in and commits the foul. Well, looks like they're going to let him play. Certainly uh, when they get in the lane, look at Cobbs. He's like, hey, what about all that contact? Look at this. He gets in. He's, he's able to go past the law. Now watch, he jumps. And yeah, just a good job by the referees there. I mean, I, I didn't see any foul on the shot. It wasn't like they took away his space to land. Nearly eight minutes in, and Chiba Jets, Chris Smith driving in and getting the foul called on Kirk. First one was good for Smith. You could see uh, Kirk and Gavin Edwards very familiar with each other. Kirk kind of waiting at the line, puts his hand on his chest and pushes him away. So a friendly competitiveness uh, for all of these guys, especially those guys that come from the States and they've been here for a while. Two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. So far, it's all Alvark Tokyo. Leading by nine points. Edwards comes out on Kirk. Three point shot. And quickly to the other end. So the foul, Shuto Ando. Must be hard to play with that that mask. So Ando is going to go out, and Tanaka comes back in. Yeah, take that thing off. It's annoying. Sometimes you'll see players go out and and try to play with it, and then they'll just decide it's just much easier to go without it, to go without the protective gear. And I guess they have to weigh up the risk of what would happen if you take a shot to the face without the protection. And you don't want to be missing free throws when you're trailing by big numbers. Three-point shot, and it's good from Smith. So up to a 12-point advantage. Vic Law, a little long, one shot and out. Sabo Saiz gets away with the dribble. Fortunate that the ball bounced to his teammate. And leaning into a Daiki Tanaka, but look at size. That's where he earns his money on the boards. If you don't go out ready to box out Seba size, he is going to own you. And so far, he's doing what he wants. 14 point advantage here for Alvar Tokyo. And ripping, tickling the twine, Fumio Nishimura. Fujinaga looks like he's got something in his eye. That was a big shot for Nishimura. They don't want this Alvark Tokyo lead to get any bigger. Good, good block by Gavin Edwards, or rather good screen. And Justin Cobbs comes back in.
About a nine second differential on the game clock and the shot clock. Tanaka missing. Chris Smith with the foul. That is fourth team foul. So I would imagine Alvar Tokyo will hold it for the last shot. And it's good to see coming into the game, Takuma Sato re-enters the contest. Still looking forward to seeing Yoshi enter the game. Hirotaki Yoshi uh, for Alvar Tokyo. Ten seconds. Six. Five. It's go time. Justin Cobbs. Nice little pump fake. And did not get it off in time, or did he? And have they called a foul? That's the question. He was trying to get the contact and earn a trip to the line. And as you look at Mooney, that's a player they have to get. Well, John Patrick letting you know what he thinks about that call. Here's Cobbs, Mooney guarding him. Well, while Mooney didn't go straight up, he definitely jumped towards him, but it looked like he kind of avoided contact. And if anybody was initiating the contact, it was Cobbs. And I think they want to see, did he release the ball in time? Because if he did, I think they're going to call the foul. Well, tough break, but looking at that last replay, looks like it's probably the right call. There was definitely some some contact, and it was certainly what Justin Cobbs was looking for. So he was able to uh, cleverly make the contact and earn a trip to the line. So time on the clock, 0.3 seconds. All three free throws have been made. See Bart Patrick over on the sideline, like, where's the foul on that play? Well, it doesn't matter. It's 26 to 12. Alvar Tokyo on top of Chiba Jets at the end of one.
Well, at the end of the first quarter, 26 to 12, Alvar Tokyo on top of Chiba Jets. Eight points for Justin Cobbs, seven for Seba Scythe in just less than four minutes. He has been an animal out there. Four rebounds as well for Seba Scythe. Look at that. The B League champions twice already, Alvar Tokyo. And hoping that they will be putting up another banner at the end of the season. But as we saw at the start of this uh, telecast or broadcast, there are a lot of other teams aiming for the same thing. Tagashi, hoping he's going to get back into the game. you got to love those warm-ups. Look fantastic for Chiba Jets. Second quarter action underway. The dump from Baranski down low to Kirk. Boy, Adamatis has to be pleased over on that bench. His team has come out and opened up a 16-point advantage on Albert Tokyo. Excuse me, on uh, Chiba Jets. Remember, Chiba Jet started with two wins this season. And Edwards is going to be not too happy with himself after missing that one. Off our Tokyo, meanwhile, going one and one in their opening two games. Nice pass back to Edwards, wide open. Good pass from Shutahara. Down low it goes, and Scythe goes up for the dunk. 18-point advantage. This Alvar Tokyo team is running away with it here early. And John Patrick has to call a timeout. Well, they're seeing what's on offer, and they just dump it down low to the big fella from Spain, and Scythe knows what to do with it. Second quarter resu resumes. Chiba Jets looking for a little bit of magic, something to get it going here. Chris Smith over to Tagashi. Wide open, feet set, couldn't have any more time, and misses. And now Kirk pushes off, running down the floor, pushes off on Gavin Edwards. call this on it wasn't quite as blatant as it seemed it was almost as if uh, Gavin Edwards kind of ran into Kirk at the beginning and I'm not sure if the referees are trying to see if there's an unsportsmanlike foul potentially because usually they'll go to the other side 
of the table. Definitely be getting into it from the very beginning of the game. <clears throat> and Kirk is like, I did push off, but it was after he clattered into me. How can you call that foul? He's got to let it go, though. So maybe a little bit of a break for Chiba Jets, but... Who would uh, deny them that after the start that they've had? They need a break or two. Everything else has been kind of going Albert Tokyo's way. So looking for a little bit of magic. And uh, Chris Smith drives in, or sorry, Vic Wall drives in, misses. Chris Smith hustles down, tries to get it to Tagachi. Turns it over. said Ryan Rossiter's name much today. Inside it goes and oh, much better keeping it alive but not able to get the basketball. So a little frustrate, period of frustration here for Chiba Jets as they really make a commitment to get to the glass, to get to the boards, but they still can't pull it down. got it off in plenty of time so they were living dangerously Chiba Jets fortunate that he missed it 18 points the difference when you're struggling for points drive here you go that's much better and then Edwards just not finishing not even close and quickly to the other end and Tagashi reaches in and commits the foul Edwards and I guess I guess there was uh, some contact there maybe where he's thinking a foul should be called so a little bit unlucky and you got to get John Mooney going goodness me Bransky meanwhile goes to the line and extends the lead Yaku Orayo checks into the game, number 25 for Chiba Jets. And Bransky gets both of them to drop. Got to happen more often. John Mooney. Quick pass down low. Good swooping rebound from Law. Brings it up. And you see the aggression now in Chiba Jets, but, you know, where was it? That aggression on the boards at the start of the game. They wouldn't be in this hole. There's Tagashi with a little runner and just kind of forced it at the end. And Baranski just makes it look so easy. Got four quick points all of a sudden.
Tagashi on the baseline gets blocked right at the end by Saez, his former teammate. Well, it's going from bad to worse right now for Chiba Jets. And then Mooney commits the foul from behind. So Mooney is going to exit the game, picks up, picks up his third foul. So that is not a good development for Chiba Jets. Taki Yoshi checks into the game. I talked about him beforehand, how he really, I think, distinguished himself as a real promising talent in Japanese basketball. And you really hope that he gets some minutes here in the B League to show what he can do because he provided plenty of evidence at the FIBA Asia Cup that he is a good player. And the pressure forces the, almost forced the turnover on Vic Law. Watch this. What is Law doing? That was very close. Sias is having himself quite a game today. Tagashi for three. Fortunate rebound for Law bouncing over Yoshi. And entry pass and Gavin Edwards gets it to drop. Well, they need to play with a little bit of anger right now because otherwise if they're not competitive enough, this thing is going to get away from them. Law again. Going to work. It makes the bounce pass when the double team comes and Gavin Edwards there for the easy one. Justin Cobbs brings it up as uh, play resumes coming up on the midway point of this second quarter. And Law almost forcing a turnover. Watch this again. Very close. And that time they... Oh. Oh boy. Looked like Law touched it. And Sice arguing his team's case. Okay, so they're going to have a look at it. And now Patrick is not going to be happy. Seem to me that this possession is going to go to Albert Tokyo. It's 
So they do have the, the one head coach challenge, and they're only going to use that if they think that it's really their ball. So watch this. But the referee is right there, so it looked like he was looking right down at Lowell. So if he had touched it, it would seem like it would be pretty obvious. The question is, does Lowell touch it here? Now, he definitely reached out. Now, whether or not he touched it, that's another matter. Well, in fact, they do say that he did touch it. So, successful head coach challenge for Coach Adamitis. Cobbs. And the foul called on Law. Now Cobbs pushes Law away. A little bit of trash talking going on out there. Well, Law is bubbling over with frustration right now and he's letting the referee know what he thinks and referee doing a good job just sitting there patiently taking it, letting him, let him, letting him air his grievance. Watch this again. And yeah, you can see the frustration from Law because it does look like he's playing pretty decent defense. Yeah, that's a tough call on Law. So timeout, Patrick. Well, size has 11 points, eight rebounds, has been just terrific. There's Patrick just trying to get a few things straight. And I, I suppose they're talking about the overall, and it happened after the head coach's challenge. So really, I mean, Patrick can't really take any issue with that. That's the referees just uh, doing the protocol. But it certainly adds on to the frustration because it feels like once you, you finally get a call to go your way, Although he could be also talking about Vic Law right now and his defense on that play and maybe the uh, basketball gods kind of rendering their verdict as Cobb misses the first free throw. Still a long way to go with this in this game. And we saw Ryuko Golden Kings uh, have a couple of similar performances the other day against Utsunomiya Brex who just could not get in the flow. Yoshi, meanwhile, reaches in and commits the foul on Law. Here's Chris Smith. Puts it up, a little bit of contact. Oh, it just won't go down. That's the kind of game it's been. Edwards almost travels and was able to put it up and get the two points. See the Jets, see if their defense can get them back in this. Trying to force some turnovers, get some buckets. And missing 
from the perimeter allows Chiba Jets with another opportunity. There she's doing a good job defending on the low block against Law. And the three-point shot is good from Law, so that will ease some of the frustration as they cut it back to a 17-point deficit. Now, and look at that, boy. It looked like there might have been a foul, nothing called, and Edwards goes up and scores. So four quick points, and all of a sudden it's a 15-point game, and this is where they really start to, to make inroads. That John Patrick-style defense Getting up on you physically, pushing the edges of what's uh, a foul and not a foul, and just take your chances. And Edwards takes it away. Turnover on Yoshi. Here's Law, and Yoshi with the foul, long way from the basket. This was Law right here, feet set. They haven't hit many threes today, so that was a relief for Chiba Jets fans to see that ball fall through the hoop. Law comes back in the game. Tanaka as well. Excuse me. Tanaka comes back into the game, as does uh, Rossiter. Chris Smith is three not there, but Edwards, who's been lively, fouled by Tanaka, who is on his back. And nice little run here by Chiba Jets at the end of the first half. It has been a nightmare for them today, but if they can get a bucket here or get some free throws, they can cut that deficit down to 11, maybe even 10 points. Ooh, Law kind of hops into the lane, forcing that one up. And now an unsportsmanlike foul has been called on Chris Smith. And that all happened. And Rosser taking exception to Chris Smith's uh, unsportsmanlike. Watch this. I don't know if they're going to call that. They're going to look at it again. That's a key moment. I mean, you can't blame Law for being aggressive, but he might have just uh, pushed the envelope out a little too much there and would have been better off just passing it. Look at him getting tangled. It was Tanaka that was pushing off. That's not going to be an unsportsman. Like, there's no way. Yes, they are tangled up. And you, you could even call a foul. You could also call a no foul. Watch, he's down. And then he went for the ball. And then Rossiter went down. Uh, but it's definitely not an unsportsman. Like, this will be interesting to see if they maintain it. I think they're going to downgrade it. John Patrick certainly hopes it's not going to be an unsportsmanlike. And I think if they call it, he's going to be unlucky. And that's right, Chris. We believe you. He had fallen down, and then his roster started to dribble. He reached up, tried to knock the ball away. Now, whether or not Rossiter intentionally went over to try to get the foul, that's, the, that's a question. And if he did, well... Nothing wrong with that. He's just trying to get the foul called, but let's see. It's, surely it can't be an unsportsmanlike. Oh, my goodness. They do call the unsportsmanlike. 
Well, I don't I'm I don't agree with that one, but that's just the way it goes. And these are the frustrations. All you can say in the on behalf of the referees is that they've been able to sit back and examine it and look at the replay. But I think it's a very tough call on Chris Smith. Meanwhile, Rossler takes advantage. He goes to the line and makes both. And Chris Smith says, you know what? I'm going to stop worrying about this. I'm not going to waste my energy on this. I need to focus on the game. And that's what you have to do. You have to put these little uh, controversies behind you. So they get two points. Let's see if they can have an even bigger trip down the floor. So Kabi puts it up. And it's a two. Four-point trip down the floor. And the lead goes back to 17. That's so Kabi saying he got hit on the three. And now Cobbs and Law are going at it for the second time today. And it might be an idea for both coaches to take their players out of the game. And now they've just called a technical on Rossiter. Have they called all setting technicals? Yes, they have. In favor of Albert Tokyo and a little bit of a injury issue as well cropping up over there for Chiba Jess just to add insult to injury for Shuda Hara so on the side trying to get some movement. So the foul called, great play by Smith to get the steal. And here is Law at the line and making the first.
He makes this one. He does. And again, Chiba Jets probably pretty happy with their position when you consider where they were. 20 plus points down. And the jump shot. Size chases it down. And Rossiter, and they call the foul. He's got a chance for a three point play. It's one thing to take the contact. Ooh, and he had words with Chris Smith at the end there. Rossiter, he's got to watch it. Those two players. Three-point play is good for Rossiter. Certainly has seemed rather feisty today, feistier than normal. And I guess maybe some words being exchanged between the two players. And meanwhile, coming back into the game, Sato, Takuma Sato. So the lead back to 16. Still time as Vic Law brings it up. Still time for Chiba Jets to get closer. Vic Law missing from deep. I mean, if you're hot and you feel it, okay. But at the end of the day, maybe you'd like to work it around, try to get it down low, get a higher percentage look. Tanaka pulls up from the left of the elbow and Tagashi brings up the floor. He's bumped. And that's a good foul. It's called on his uh, opposing number two, Yoshiaka Fujinaga. Although in fairness to Fujinaga, in fairness to him, it didn't look like he did too much wrong. Fujinaga. So it's going to be Tagashi at the line. Makes the first. Six points for Tagashi. He scored five quick ones, and we haven't heard much from him until now. And the second is not good. That'll frustrate him. So another opportunity for Alvark Tokyo. And Vic Law knocks it away. Good defense, a chance to run. Do they want to hold it for one shot or do they want to keep going? I would think they would want to hold it for one. Well, they're not going to pass that up. The dunk laying down the law. And then Vic Law looks over at that bench as if to say, how do you like them apples? Nine points, four rebounds, two assists for Law. Timeout called by Alvark Tokyo. And again, this is a good recognition from Edwards. And I don't know why Rossiter came over to help, other than maybe he thought Tanaka was going to be. Uh, backed down low by Edwards, but there was no rotation on the defense and Law just went straight in for the dunk. So just 14.8 seconds remaining and Alvar Tokyo will try to get something on their last possession, but don't be surprised if Chiba Jets come out and try to uh, harry them into a turnover to that would fit that would fit their style defensively maybe a little bit of a surprise tactic remember mooney on the bench hasn't been a factor really at all he's got three fouls three points one rebound and three fouls that that is not a good situation also good news that shudahara has come back out we saw him getting some treatment on the bench so some full court pressure 
Tagashi. Now, Sato. Running Tanaka. Here's Cobbs. They've got to hurry. And Tanaka, I don't think he got it off in time. So at the end of the first half, it's Alvarp Tokyo leading it 44-31 over Chiba Jets. Stick around. We'll be right back.
Well, Alvar Tokyo on top here of Chiba Jets at halftime and really uh, Daiki Tanaka and co just coming out strong. Chiba Jets out of sync on both ends of the floor, but playing much better at the end of the first half to give themselves a chance to get back into this here in the second half. Uh, but Tanaka scoring from deep and also scoring with the drive. And we saw some good stuff from Yuki Tagachi at the beginning of the game, but he ended up going out of the game. Didn't hear much from him the rest of the way. Justin Cobbs right at the end of the shot clock, hitting that big three-pointer. Building some momentum. Ryan Rossiter also with Alex Kirk. Uh, Kirk, probably uh, not the type of player that a lot of guys like to go up against. He really does get under your skin. Save a size, size as well coming in for Alvar Tokyo. Arguably their best player. Uh, the way he came out and just dominated. 11 points, 9 rebounds for size. The Eurobasket winner from Spain. That was the only bu the bucket from uh, from Mooney. So John Mooney needs to get it get it going in the second half. A very slow start for Gavin Edwards, but he was able to start clicking at the end. And also for Vic Law, Law with nine points. Edwards has eight, and Chris Smith swatting that ball away, triggering the break. And Rosser getting fouled here as he turned into the lane and got a three-point play. Then he had words for Smith as he got up and went to the line to make his free throw. Edwards, with a double team coming, was able to pass it to Law, cutting in from the baseline, and that's where we are. So as you look at the first half stats, Alvark Tokyo, 12 of 19, 63% inside the arc. The stark contrast is 7 of 19, 36.8% for Chiba Jets. Jets have uh, made a couple more three-pointers, uh, but Alvark Tokyo have pretty much taken advantage of their opportunities at the line, going 14 of 15. And... Alvark also out rebounding Chiba Jets 23 to 14. And again, as you look at the numbers, Cobbs with nine points, 11 points for size, seven for Kirk, and four piece, excuse me, five for Rossiter, and four piece for Tanaka, Osakabe, and Baranski. And for this Chiba Jets team, well, they've gotten nine points from Law to lead the way. Eight for Edwards and six from Tagachi. Uh, but they're going to need a lot more. And as you also consider, they need Mooney to pick it up. He's got three fouls, as does uh, Smith. So that last foul from Smith giving way on the three-point play was a costly one. But 20 minutes still to play, and really, you know, we'll get an indicator here pretty soon at the start of the second half whether or not Chiba Jets are going to make a run at this. Definitely know that Alvark Tokyo under Coach Adamitis are going to want to come out and lower the boom, put this result beyond doubt. Chiba Jets winning their first two games of the season last weekend. And meanwhile, Alvark Tokyo going one and one. So 
Chiba Jets uh, would like to keep, to get a little momentum going here, keep get a winning streak at the start of the season. They're going to start with Mooney and Smith on the bench with the three fouls apiece. Second half action underway here in the Yoyogi National Stadium in Tokyo. Alvaro Tokyo on top of Chiba Jets, 44-31. Gavin Edwards comes right out and puts one off the rim, the front of the rim, and it looked like it looked like they had a chance to get that rebound. Sato couldn't bring it down. So another chance for Alvar Tokyo to extend their lead. Look at that like, touch pass to Kirk, who drives in. Boy, that was good work from the big fellas. Vic Law fouled as he gets in. They're going to count it. Yes, they do. Patrick has taken one of his assistants, who's Japanese, back to Japan. Part of his staff, and this is Rossiter asking the referee where the foul was, but you can see there was a bump. So a chance for Law. Three-point play, and now it's down to a 12-point game. He's got 12 points. Osakabe in the game, hands it off to Cobbs. And they're going to count it. Wow. Osakabe, dynamic. Posting up the smaller Tagashi. In fact, he just saw the mismatch just waiting to be taken advantage of on no rebound at all. Look at that. Oh, boy, that's going to upset Patrick. His team giving away a couple of offensive rebounds. And that is not a good sign at all for Chiba Jets now trailing 16 points. Log in, gets in, just kind of flicked the ball up instead of uh, laying it in. And a chance to run for Rossiter, open floor, look at him handle it, gets it over to Cobbs for three, in and out. Oh, and the putback dunk from Alex Kirk. Wow, impressive from Kirk to start this second half. That's why he's been with this club for several years. They know what they've got from him, and that is soft touch, good aggressive play, and nobody puts a body on him. That's got to be Gavin Edwards sliding, sliding over and keeping – no, Gavin Edwards is actually boxing out Rossiter, uh, but it looked like Shudahara was going to box him out, and just nobody picked – Picked him up, Kirk, as he came down the lane. And again, very good play from Rossiter, able to pass it over Law. So Moody comes back in with the three fouls. They can't wait any longer. They got to get him in. Mooney gets it back to Law. Law drives in, banks it off the glass.
Now Kirk hands it off to Cobbs. And Cobbs misses, follows up his miss. Edwards picks up the loose ball, hands it off to Tagashi. And good job posting up Mooney. So Mooney posts up Tanaka, gets the foul called. Three-point shot, and Law misses, but Mooney back in the game. Passes it back outside. Thought Mooney might take on Rossiter. Oh, look at that, Edwards. Goodness, nice lift off from Edwards. Good length. And back to a more manageable 14-point deficit. And now the steal, Mooney. Is he going to take it all the way? Yes, he is, with two hands. He flushes it. Former Notre Dame fighting Irish big man makes a big impact upon his re-entry to the game. Cuts it back to a 12-point deficit, forcing the timeout by Alvar Tokyo. Good spot by Tagashi. And a little give and go, a little interplay between those two. Here, Yuki, you take it. And then the defense goes to Yuki, and then he just goes over. And that was a very perceptive, good awareness from Mooney to just kind of step in and take that basketball away. Sloppy. And really, Kirk probably should have done better there. Not sure where why they got in that situation you need to go to the basketball and anyway it's a 12 point deficit so moody now has five points Don't forget he's got the three fouls, just like Chris Smith. Kirk has caused a lot of problems in these situations for Alvar Tokyo. And here he goes again. And this time doesn't get it to drop, but still Ross are able to tap it over to Cobbs. His offensive rebounds are killing. Killing this uh, Chiba Jets team. And this time they do come up and get it. Kirk not able to knock it away from Edwards. Oh, boy, the bounce pass sloppily. Law then reaches in, almost gets it back. Oh, Osakabe just knew that that pass was being attempted by Tagashi. Just kind of uh, ran away from him. Forced the turnover. Osakabi oh, drives in. Oh boy, looking to pass it. I thought he left his feet with nowhere to go. They're going to call the charge on Rossiter. And Rossiter has to be careful that he doesn't show up the referee by waving him off like that. I thought Osakabe had no idea what he was doing there, but he did. He was getting it to Cobbs, and sure enough, Tagashi does a good job of getting position. So they can get it back to 10, maybe even 9 with a three-pointer. Tagashi launches it. Baranski back in the game. Cobbs. 
Oh boy, that was a nice finish. Seems like a tough assignment for Shudohara, who just is clearly being bothered by his uh, leg injury. Edwards for three. Oh boy, he is really carrying the team right now. Gavin Edwards doing Gavin Edwards thing. Oh, a little bit of trash talk in there with Alex Kirk. Gavin Edwards with 13 points. That was his first three. And three attempts. Now Kirk at the other end. Well, that's the best way to answer it for Kirk. Tagashi pulls up on the break. It's good. And it's back to a 10-point game. Rossiter thought about making the bounce pass. Baranski wide open. And another break for Chiba Jets. Tagashi takes it all the way. Misses. Oh, boy, that hurts. He's got to make that one. He, did, he didn't want to use the glass. And Hara, I think, is going to have to come out. He is uh, exhausted. Cobbs goes up to check on him. Looks like almost he's unwell, not only injured. That's one of those I'm tired fouls. Get me out of the game. I need to go catch my breath. And he's definitely limping. He's going to get treatment. Could be that he's a little, a little sick or nauseous or something because he doesn't look the same player tonight. Chris Smith back in the game, as well as Nishimura. And, oh boy, what a finish from Sice. That was high quality. His whole body was already behind the backboard, but his length, his arms, he was able to stick the ball out and just put it up off the glass and in. Oh, right, he stepped out of bounds. Tough break, Takuma Sato. Cobbs lets it fly. And boy, they worked so hard. Chiba just tried to get back in it, and it hurts them to see those jumpers falling for the other team. But you got to get a hand in the face. Also, size his reentry to the game is not a good development for Chiba Jets. Smith, meanwhile, buries the three-pointer. Rossiter hands it off. Moransky. Three point shot. Oh boy. Surely that can't be helping his form. Shuto Ando. That face mask. Well, Smith didn't do too much in the first half, but he gets that jumper to fall. Maybe that's going to be the start of something beautiful for him. Quick pass, Mooney. Oh, boy, how Mooney do you miss that? You've got to dunk it. You certainly can't afford to miss it. Rossiter, bounce pass, four-point swing. Moody missed at one end, and the man that doesn't miss at the other, size takes it back up to a 13-point advantage. Minute 40 remaining.
Smith takes a very tough shot. Good work on the boards from Gavin Edwards. And a jump ball possession arrow will favor Alvark Tokyo. Size has 15 points, nine rebounds. Cobbs, 13 points, 13 points for Kirk. Good balance scoring today for this Alvark Tokyo team. Size has it and he is fouled. Tough break for Chiba Jets. Well, all might, might have come from the side and made contact, and that's what that call was. Third foul. Ando wide open on the right. They want to get it to him. Nope, they go inside. And Kirk does what Kirk always does. He finishes. Between he and Scythe, they're not missing too much out there today. Mooney. Oh, boy, sweet jump shot. This is where you'd really like to get some points for if you're a Chiba Jet, force some turnovers and get some easy buckets in transition. Wide open and missing it, uh, Fuji, Fujinaga. So the final shot probably will go to Chiba Jets. 10 seconds on the clock. So with the foul to give, smart foul by Sice. 2.7 seconds remaining. Here he is, Danius Adamitis, former Lithuanian national team coach. Also Neptunus in Lithuania. A long way from home. Sato comes back in. Law goes out. Edwards goes out. What play are they going to run? 2.7 seconds. They get it. There you go. Tagashi. Oh. I wonder if he was tempted to put the ball on the deck and go to the basket. Doesn't matter. He missed 64 51. Alvark Tokyo on top of Chiba Jets at the end of three.
Well, you see the foul issues, nothing really to speak of for Alvark Tokyo. Nobody has more than two fouls. So that should not come into play in this fourth quarter at all for them. That last quarter finished 20 apiece. Meanwhile, it's a different story over there on the bench of Chiba Jets. You got Mooney with three fouls, Law with three fouls, and Chris Smith with three fouls, although Smith and Mooney each had three fouls at halftime. Smith wide open. Long rebound to Mooney. Oh, boy. Fortunate to get that basketball back. And just kind of a weak effort by Sato just to kind of flick it up there. That was never going in. And Rossiter missing. Mooney quickly up the floor. Sato gets it back to Mooney. And the foul on Ando. I don't know why he's thinking that he's going to have any success with that shot. Tagashi bounce pass. Edwards! Oh, he's been their best player today. Gavin Edwards. 15 points. Not to mention the six rebounds. Gets it back to an 11-point game. Now it's all about stops for this Chiba Jets team. Can they get stops? Cobbs misses, but they can't get the rebound. Nevertheless, able to knock it away. Now Vic Law on the open floor. He's going all the way. Oh, good defense from Tanaka. There's Tanaka. Oh, this is that one badly enough. Sato hands it off to Tagashi. Smith, Law for three. I'm running something for Gavin Edwards. He's putting his chances away. Quick pass. And size is just too hot to handle. So Mooney, after sitting down at the end of the third quarter, comes back out. And Kirk also comes out, so that is not a probably what you would like to see if you're Chiba Jess, because he has been very hard on them. Sixteen points, eleven rebounds for Seba Saiz. Probably looking at the player of the game if this Alvar Tokyo team goes on and wins it. Baby Sias has been really good coming off the bench today. Hara. Right. Ando with the rebound. Fujinaga. Brings it back over to Tanaka. Oh, Fujinaga didn't know the ball was coming to him. Tagashi. 
Oh, knew the foul was coming, and they give him three free throws. Wow, clever play from Tagashi. Watch this, Fujinaga. Fuji, what you doing? And Tagashi goes the other way. He knows, knows it's coming, puts it up, and the foul has been called, so three free throws. And a chance to get it back to a 10-point deficit for Tagashi. A lot of the heavy lifting done by this Alvar Tokyo team today in the first quarter when they outscored the slow starting Chiba Jets 26 to 12. And basically that's been kind of the margin that they've had ever since. Anyway, Tagashi able to get it back to a 10 point deficit. And again, it's imperative they get stops and they do. Tagashi steps in and takes the charge from Sice. No, excuse me, Tagashi takes the charge from uh, Fujinaga, who pushes him over. Fujinaga made a couple of mistakes here in the last minute that have helped this Chiba Jets team. Oh, boy, in and out for Law. Kirk, man, he's a machine. Slick performer, 17 points. Tagashi from deep. Get it back. Tagashi again. Can you believe it didn't go down? Unbelievable. Fujinaga with a little runner. Mooney, you're going to leave me open. I'm going to take it. He's not going to make it. And it's been overall a really poor shooting effort today from this uh, visiting Chiba Jets team here in Tokyo. Size trying to get some space down low. Baranski. Boy, nice play. Baranski just drives in, extends the ball up high. His team goes back up by 14 points. 5.45 remaining. Timeout, John Patrick and Chiba Jets. Well, 23 bench points for Chiba Jets, 21 for Alvar Tokyo today. Biggest lead for this uh, Alvar Tokyo team, 21 points today. Had a big 14-0 run early on that really catapulted them into the lead. Nine second chance points have been important for them. 30 of their points coming in the paint. Still time for Chiba Jets. Nishimura. Dribbling up high, gets it to Smith. 
who is fouled by Kirk. Third foul on Kirk. Three pointer for Nishimura. Just will not drop today for this for this Chiba Jets team. They are 7 of 26, 28% of our Tokyo, of course, not really putting too many threes up. That isn't their game. Tanaka with a little turnaround. And a new 14 on the shot clock. Those are the, those are the things that really drive you crazy if you're a coach not able to get the rebound off a missed shot timeout 14 point advantage for alvark tokyo So those are the scoring totals for Chiba Jets today. You can see 15 points. Uh, Gavin Edwards, 14 for Law, 12 for Tagashi. And now Kirk, another two points for Kirk. 19 points for him. 16 points, the advantage. Chiba just, just not able to make inroads in this deficit right now. And now a turnover by Tagashi went up. Not sure if he was going to pass or shoot. Ended up turning it over. Now Fujinaga. Tanaka goes up and kind of has his feet taken out from under him. So Tanaka again, and that was Nishimura that just kind of created a dangerous situation there. You don't want to move into the guy when he's off his feet. Baranski missing and Law dribbles it up the floor. Strong with the basketball, Tagashi. Fujinaga not giving anything away cheaply. Now the dump, and Edwards had to really make an effort just to keep the basketball, just to get it, rather. 3.45 remaining, Chiba Jets running out of time. Alvaro Tokyo trying to lower the boom here. And now the ball turned over. Shudahara. Gets deep, back outside to Edwards. Tagashi, feet set, and a three-pointer is good. 
And back to a 13-point deficit with 325 remaining. So Tagashi's latest three-pointer. He's now three of nine from deep, 15 points. Well, that first quarter has been really the undoing of Chiba Jets today. They just were not in sync in that opening 10 minutes. And Alvark Tokyo came out and really kind of laid the wood to him, outscoring him 26 to 12. Well, Tagashi going in, gambling. Almost coming up with a steal. So, John Patrick decides to use his uh, head coach challenge. They're going to look at this. I think that's what it is. May as well use it. Don't leave it out there. So did it go off of Tagashi or did it go off of Osakabe? Looks like it went off of Tagashi, but we'll see. Well, unless it went off the leg of Osakabe. Could have. All right. To me, that's the question. Did it go off of Osakabe? off of his leg. I think that's what the assistant coaches are saying. But I'm not sure they're going to win this this challenge. They do not. But it was a worthwhile gamble. Cobbs inbounds the basketball to Osakabe. Brings it across midcourt. Sakabe's had a nice start today, as did Cobbs. And Cobbs drifting in back to Osakabe for three. Oh boy, knock that down. 16 points. The lead. And the man who used to trade blows back in the youth days with Rui Hachimura. Showing some star quality here late in the game. Law goes up, does a good job drawing the foul on Sice. Hey, 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 hey. This is the penetration, then the kick outside. And Osakabe knows what to do with it.
Second free throw good as well for Lowell, so it's back to 14 points. Still possible, but again, we got to force some turnovers to get some easy buckets. Also hope that they get some stops. Like on this occasion here, Cobbs pushing off a little bit. Trapped up top and travels. So good defense and gives his team, gives this uh, Chiba Jets team a chance to get closer. Oh yeah, he shuffled his feet. He shuffled his feet before that, in fact. Yeah. Clock is the enemy now. They got to get going. Tagashi. And good defense by Sice. He's been doing it all today. Both ends of the floor. Knocks it out of bounds. Nine seconds on the shot clock. And he catches the inbounds. Going up against Baranski. Sweet looking shot. Back to 12. We've seen him force some turnovers and get some buckets today. Let's see if we can see some more. Osakabe, oh, his bounce pass goes out. And look at Adamitis. Like, what are we in a rush for? 150 remaining. So another chance for Chiba Jets. Tagashi into the paint, puts it up all good. Hustle back by Sice to get the block. And there he is coming up with the basketball. Now Sice just impacts the game in so many different ways. But again, a turnover and a chance the Chiba Jets need to put it up. And I think Law could have uh, taken the three or handed it off for his teammate to take the three with 115 remaining. It's going to take something special for Chiba Jets. If they're going to come back from this, here's Cobbs. Steps back and... Good effort, knocking in the hands. There's Law, he goes down. And just bad luck, couldn't stay on his feet with 52.4 seconds remaining. Alvar Tokyo almost at the finish line. Getting this first win. Against Chiba Jets this, this season. Yoshi back into the game. First time in the second half uh, that we'll see him. Fujinaga thought about launching it. Size gets in. And yet another opportunity on offense. The ball batted out to the perimeter. So with 30 seconds remaining, Alvar Tokyo closing in on victory. Osakabe from the left. Three-pointer is good. And the lead goes to 15. So early in the season, and nevertheless, the first defeat for Chiba Jets. Oh, the bank is open. Late Friday. So that's how it's going to finish. Alvar Tokyo do what they need to do. They get the big win, 78-66. It really never was in doubt. They got their noses in front, pushed ahead, led by 14 at the end of the first quarter. 
and hold a comfortable lead the rest of the way. They win it 78-66 over Chiba Jets. So you see the quarterback quarter scoring, and again, Chiba Jets on the back foot in that first quarter and never able to make up for it. Coach Adamitis. Coach Adamitis will be liking how his team performed today. They were borderline ruthless coming out, and the Lithuanian coach uh, getting used to the customs of Japanese basketball, bowing to the crowds, waving. as is John Patrick and his Chiba Jets team. So Chiba Jets getting 16 points from Law, 15 from Tagashi, 15 from Edwards. Just wasn't enough. Left a lot of opportunities out there. Just didn't shoot the ball well at all today. 37%. A lot of that has to go to the credit of Alvar Tokyo. 37% inside the arc. They shot 9 of 28. 32% from deep. And they were just absolutely drilled on the boards today. Out-rebounded 47 to 28. You can see Patrick and the Chiba Jets coaches talking about where it all went wrong today, and they'll have to uh, reorganize and come back out strong. Here's Coach Adamitis. Let's turn it over to Coach Adamitis. I think he's going to be speaking English. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your energy. You are a real six-hour player. ありがとうございます。Uh, I think it's very important against this kind of team like uh, Chiba is that to, you go like ready mentally to play very tough game because they are defensively very aggressive so we was uh, enough aggressive also defensively so our aggressiveness our energy was main thing. え、チバジェッサンは本当に、え、激しくアグレッシブなチームですので、ま、オフェンス面でもしっかりと、え、組み立てて、相手のえ、ディフェンスの激しさに後さらないという形を取りましたので、え、その上のことは、え、特に出し
but they need to be a game after the game better. So that's the main reason. まあえー、プレシーズンから始まりました練習を積み重ねて、えー、それで、えー、練習試合プレシーズンから始まって、えー、ようやくレギュラーシーズンの、えー、本ちゃんの試合になりましたのでこれは一つ一つ、えー、我々レベルアップして毎試合毎試合、えー、一つでもレベルアップできるように向上して一つ一つ勝ち進んでいきたいと感じておりますシンヘッドコーチとして今日のファンの皆さんにこの後に受けて一言お願いします。Please come support tomorrow and be even louder than today you was. Arigatou. Of course, Steve Jones doing it all again tomorrow. And Coach Adamitis emphasizing how important it is for that crowd to be out here supporting his team against Chiba Jets and against all comers. Now, Daki Tanaka, the captain. たのしみにしていたこの代々木第一体育館でのゲーム振り返っていかがでしたか。いやもうめちゃくちゃ楽しかったです。しかもこのゲーム最初の得点が田中選手でした。どんな気持ちで臨んだんでしょう。やっぱ
So those were the words from Sebastian Seiss, Seba Seiss. Talking about how they're still looking for the continuity, the rhythm, you know, early in the season. They're not playing their best, but the more that they get out, the more that they will play. But yeah, no surprise player of the game, uh, Sebastian Seiss. Well, that's a, a lot of uh, food there to eat. I'm sure he'll find some, some room in the stomach because it's so good. So the MVP of the game, Seba Saiz, waves to the crowd one more time and just a wonderful afternoon for Chiba Jets fans, Chiba Jets players. They know they're going to get at least one of one victory from the two games and they'll try to do it again tomorrow. And I'm not sure what they're signing. Maybe they're playing tic-tac-toe. We can't really see. Yeah, I guess so. Your turn, save us. And then uh, going up with the mascot. And uh, as size alluded during his remarks, how it's one big family. He's glad to be here, back with Tokyo, and looking forward to a great season. So I guess appropriately, the sister sledge, we are family, blaring out over the, uh, the speakers right now is uh, all the, the players go and wave to the fans. I think uh, Daniel Adamitis is really enjoying his adventure in Japan. Still doing the lap of thanks, the lap of honor. fans to come back and if you come out come out and connect with the fans uh, it does you and it does the club a lot of good so it's good to see them recognize the fans as they walk off the court So we'll look back at some of the, the action, the highlights, and uh, remember how this thing went. And don't forget, it was a, a really fast start, or you could even say a fast start for Alvark Tokyo combined with a slow start from Chiba Jets. And it just, Chiba Jets just were not able to recover. It was noticeable, I thought, from an effort standpoint. It went up considerably from Chiba Jets after that opening quarter. And, you know, if that effort had been there in the first quarter, well, then maybe things would have been a little bit different. But... Uh, one thing for sure, Alvark Tokyo were ready to go from the off. And that'll be something that has to be addressed, I think, for Chiba Jets uh, when they come back out tomorrow and play again. And I'm pretty sure they'll be breathing fire the next time they run out onto the floor. But Alvark Tokyo, you know, shooting at 55%, you know, getting some good looks. Able to get it down low to Kirk, who just... Uh, 
Just had really an exceptional game today. Really shot it well. Eight of 10 from the floor and made all three of his free throws. And then you had Sice coming off the bench and was terrific. Six of 10 from the floor. He even made a three pointer. 4 4 at the line, so he finished with uh, 17 points and 13 rebounds. And also, uh, don't forget, he had one of the one of the three blocks. Fujinaga had a block, and Ando also had a block. Here's Sice. Sice uh, this time was denied, and that was Chris Smith. That triggered a break for them. Yeah, but they just have a lot of talent in that team. You look at Ryan Rossler, he does so many different things to help his team win. I mean, 13 points and five rebounds to go with his seven points. So it's not just about the scoring, it's about everybody doing something to help the team win, trying to you know, mainly hustle. Osakabi, 12 points today. And the official stats say he was five of five from the floor of Sakabe. I didn't realize he hadn't missed a shot. And Tanaka also was good, came out early and scored. And that was Rossiter getting, and he, again, Rossiter is so good because he can rebound and run and deliver the pass. And nobody boxed out that man right there who just was uh, in terrific form today. And really by the time that Gavin Edwards and Tagashi got it going, they gave their team a chance, but they just could not get over the hump. They couldn't get closer than, I believe it was eight points. And Mooney only had three points at halftime. He had three fouls. And that again, just kind of speaks to the issues, speaks to the problems. They just couldn't, they just weren't in sync at the start of this game. So a lot of it has to do with early in the season, still trying to get on the same page, how they're going to play. Chris Smith had a tough game, one of six from the floor. That was a three-pointer that he made in the second half. He has one of four from three-point range. Mooney just, uh, again, because he sat so long in the first half and also started the second half on the bench. It was only four of eight from the floor, had nine points. Gavin Edwards definitely got it going in the second half. As did Tagashi. And that was a big, big play. They were trying to make a run right at the end. And Fujinaga was able to knock that ball away, or Ando, and they were able to go the other way and score. So that turned out to be a four point swing. And from that point on, really, you never felt like uh, Chiba Jets were gonna be able to come back. So again, uh, Chiba Jets, where they did give themselves a chance, was they were able to force some turnovers and score off those turnovers 16 points. Uh, but in the end, it just wasn't enough. Again, that 48-28 rebounding edge just weighs too much to overcome. So rebounding, I think, will be a part of the conversation at the team dinner tonight, or after the team dinner, when Chiba Jets uh, regroup and get ready for tomorrow. So 48-28 and also those 14 offensive rebounds for Alvark Tokyo. And you got to tip your hat to them. They also shot 16 of 18 at the free throw line. Um, you know, they missed 12 of their 16 three-pointers Alvark Tokyo, but you know, they, they took, they weren't really relying on that at all to build their lead and they missed several of those late. So that, that is not really, it's a telling stat in that they didn't rely on it. You know, they, they did so well inside the arc. So 26 bench points for Chiba Jets, 23 bench points for Alvark Tokyo. Uh, 
And again, 24 points in the paint for Chiba Jets, 32 points in the paint for Alvark Tokyo. Kirk, Sice, and Cobb finish with 19, 17, and 13 points respectively to lead the way for Alvark Tokyo. Law, and both, well, Law had 16 points, and then Tagashi and Edwards each had 15 points for Chiba Jets. Although what's interesting there is that their MVP of the game, um, we talk about Alvark Tokyo, wasn't even amongst the leading scorers, Sice. Well, he, he, he was actually, no, he had 17 points, so I'm not sure why we didn't see him up there, but he had uh, the 17 points and the 13 rebounds. So that is the schedule for tomorrow, October 8th, and various see Chiba Jets doing it all over again with Alvark Tokyo here. Game two starts at 3.05 local time. And lots of other... Lots of other games uh, also being played tomorrow. So 12 games in all, very busy B-League, B-1 schedule. That's how they do it. They play two on each trip. So it's been a, it's been a great, great afternoon or a great evening uh, for the B-1 League here in Japan. And uh, we look forward to everybody coming back and paying attention to this competition, not just uh, tomorrow, uh, but for the rest of the season. I'm starting to wonder if some of these Alvark Tokyo fans might just be spending the night and coming, coming back tomorrow, so they don't have to come back tomorrow, but anyway. Thanks for watching, everybody. Alvark Tokyo win at 78-66 over Chiba Jets. え、その際はね、あの、ハリセンを買っていただいたり、展開と買っていただいたりね、え、T シャツを買っていただいたりしてね、一緒に盛り上がっていただければと思いますので、どうぞよろしくお願いいたします。え、それではですね、え、その次の